Yeah, they were, uh, I, I had not, um, my manager at the time, actually he was recently my ex-manager, but still good friend, um, <clears throat> sent me a tape and said, these guys are really good. They're getting signed and you know, you should check them out. So it was a, a cassette demo of Cowboys from Hell. <clears throat> and it was amazing. Um, I didn't realize how amazing it was until years later, you know, how amazing the band was. But um, yeah, I, I hadn't heard from them, but as soon as I got that tape, I went down to Texas to meet them. And um, we just, you know, we, we got in a van, drove up to one of their shows up by uh, the Oklahoma line, I think. Um, and sitting in a van for an hour, you know, is how we got to know each other. And um, they needed to figure out if they could trust me, you know, yeah. for a long time. So it took, it took that, you know, at, at the end of that day, we were good. I had a nickname and everything. So once I got a nickname, I knew I was in. And what was that nickname? Rope King. There you go. 